Hello everyone, welcome to FedScoop TV. Greg Otto here. We're coming from Dell's Digital Transformation Summit and I'm talking with Brett Hansen, the, I'm sorry, do that again. Hello everyone, welcome to FedScoop TV. Greg Otto here. We're coming from Dell's Digital Transformation Summit and I'm talking with Brett Hansen, Dell's VP of Data Security Solutions. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you, thanks for having me. So what does digital transformation look like to you in 2017? Well, I think that there's lots of different dimensions, but what I like to focus on is what's going on with the workforce. Okay. The workforce is going through this evolution that we haven't really seen in many, many years. The growth of bring your own device, bring your own applications, the expectation of the workforce to be able to work remotely and mobily, the expectation of collaboration across organizations. It's all changing the dynamics of how people work, how people interact with other people, and how they interact with their technology. And for companies to be able to be successful in today's world, attracting the best and brightest of the talent, optimizing that talent, getting the most efficiency out of them, they have to embrace these workforce transformations. It can be challenging because it creates new risk and new issues, but the other option is falling behind the competition. So what is one way the federal government can revolutionize the way that they are conducting business in order to move to a more modern state of IT? Well, revolutionize is obviously a very big word, but let, right. me, just, let me just start with a, a smaller piece, which is addressing the needs of your employees in a different manner. Okay. The Dell conducted a study a few months ago, and we found some interesting facts. The first one I'd call out is millennials, which will soon be the largest portion of our workforce, really look for a work environment that embraces their lifestyle. And what is their lifestyle? They like to share, they like to collaborate, they like to be in different locations, right? So having a modern workforce paradigm is essential for bringing on the best and brightest of the talent, which the government needs to do. The second is, if you embrace new technologies like mobility, like collaboration, you can find that your efficiency significantly increases. Again, in the workforce study that Dell conducted, we found that 72% of line of business employees that we interviewed like to share documents externally. That creates risk, but it also suggests, okay, this is the new working paradigm of a very distributed organization where information flows from business to business freely, promoting collaboration, and most likely driving productivity. So on the policy side, we had the White House's executive order, the MGT Act. How is that impacting how agencies are moving away from legacy systems? Well, it, it certainly is, is putting a lens on what am I doing today, right? And, and putting more pressure on organizations to evaluate their IT environment. It's too easy to get caught up in, this is how I've been doing things for years, I'm still using the same systems. My employees are still using that you know, PC I bought them five years ago, six years ago, which works fantastic if they never have to pick it up. But if we're expecting, again, a, mob, a mobile environment, if I'm expecting to be able to move around, expect to be able to collaborate, we're gonna have to adopt new trends. What are some of those trends? We talked about the workforce mobility, cloud, cloud applications, being able to share information regardless of location. All of these elements are going to be essential for the government to provide more service, better services, and do so in a more cost-effective manner. The other element we have to consider is the security element, right? The transformation that we're talking about, it creates great value, but also creates great risk. How so? If I have more devices, if I have more locations where I'm storing data, more places for those devices to be lost, more places that data to be compromised. It's more risk. So we have to balance the growth in transferring the workforce with a thoughtful security strategy that aligns to that transformation play. So finally, digital transformation, especially in the federal government, a lot of times it's held up as taking a paper process and just putting it on a website. Right. There's obviously more to it. So how do we get it to the point where the federal government is rethinking the way that they are serving up constituent services to be on par with how they interact with the private sector? Well, I mean, the private sector is always driven by efficiencies, right? And, and that's what makes, I think, probably a little bit of a difference is there's that, that singular focus for every year we're gonna do things more efficiently, we're gonna be able to service our customers better, we're gonna drive cost out of our organization, we're gonna allow our employees to be more productive by embracing these new technologies. It's not one thing, as you just called out. It's not digitizing forms. It is a perspective of always moving forward. And technology is an underpinning of that movement forward. And so the federal government's embracing of the technology, acknowledging the fact that we need to go and embrace a more mobile workforce, embrace cloud, 
and then again align ourselves with security. And that's the big concern often with federal government is the security element. Obviously the federal government is very security conscious after a number of significant breaches, right. as they should be. So as they're moving forward this workforce transformation, there also has to be an underlying of what do we need to do to make sure that as we take these steps forward, we're not increasing our risk. Obviously, there's already a lot of risk out there in the marketplace right. with a lot of hackers. There's also the risk of employees being negligent, being malicious themselves. So how do we find a way to move forward with workforce transformation while at the same time mitigating and controlling our risk? Great. Brett, appreciate your insight. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. For all of our videos, check out our YouTube page. And for more on digital transformation inside the federal government, check out fedscoop.com. I'm Greg Otto. Thanks for watching.